hey family welcome back to another video thank you guys for watching it's nana again if you're new here my name is nana and thank you so much for clicking on this video and for watching please click on the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that each time i drop another video you will know because we do a lot of diys that might help you to grow your hair healthy in this channel to my returning subscribers i just want to say a huge thank you for being there thank you for supporting your girl you guys made me to work hard and to bring up this diys for you guys thank you so much for being there so guys keep watching the video and as usual i'll be right back and i'm sure you're gonna like it In today's video, I bring to you another moisturizing hair growth butter for our natural hair. So to start off, we're going to use one tablespoon of flaxseed gel. Flaxseed gel adds a lot of shine to your hair, guys. It fights freeze, it nourishes your scalp and your hair, and your hair, and it also promote it promotes hair growth. In, into our flax seeds, we're going to add another spoon of char seeds. Char seeds contain a lot of amino acids which are necessary for hair growth. They also contain iron and zinc and copper which can fight premature grain of our hair. Of our hair guys. So you want to bring that and pour it into your boiling water. That's about a cup and a half of boiling water. And you pour it into it and then you allow it to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes guys right guys so while your char seeds and your, your char and flax seeds are boiling you want to continue with the other ingredients so i'm adding about two tablespoons of um ginger paste ginger is fast becoming one of my go-to ingredients and then i'm also adding um high hibiscus powder which is packed with protein guys you want to be careful go slow with it if you have low porosity hair and then i'm also going to add my one of my best oils which is my extra virgin olive oil and then i'm also going to add castor oil to it right guys and then you want to mix that all up and keep it aside so guys if you're not comfortable because most people ask me why i use direct heat if i'm not destroying the nutrients in all the ingredients no it's not being destroyed guys if you're cooking on very low heat but if you are not comfortable with this please do the double boiler method okay i've been using the method and all my um diys are working perfectly for us so do the double boiler method if you are not comfortable so keep that aside and go back and check your flax seed that has been cooking already for about 20 minutes now almost 20 minutes so now we want to check if it's ready guys how do you know it's ready is when you start seeing the slippery stuff that is clouding on top of your gel like what i'm showing you right now you know that your gel is ready so you want to take that up and keep it aside to cool off and then you continue to cook your oil remember we mixed it earlier so you want to put that on the fire right now again do the double boil boiler method if you're not comfortable with this method that i'm using right guys so leave that to cook of a very low heat and then you come back and you start putting the bottles that you're going to be using for the diy okay guys i'm starting off with one tablespoon of my avocado butter so it's not compulsory if you do not have all these butters you can use one if you have avocado use it if you have your uh, mango butter use it or our normal shea butter use it you must not use all the three so guys i want to insist on this uh, mango butter that i'm using right now it's super amazing for low porosity hair if your hair is low in porosity please get your mango butter instead of your shea butter you could you're gonna like it a lot okay guys it is super moisturizing i use it for our hair and i use it to make creams for my kids body especially during the winter it's wonderful in moisture okay guys so then i'm adding now the, our normal shea butter or refined shea butter i'm adding about two 
um, tablespoons of it. Then I'm also going to go in with um, emulsifying wax. I'm adding about one and a half tablespoons of my emulsifying wax. So the reason why we're using this is because we want to help um, mix the oils and the water together. Then you're going to come back and check your oil. Okay, guys, check your oil that has been cooking on very, very low heat. So you want to take that off when you think it's ready and you let it cool off. So that's the amount of heat I am using, guys. You can barely see if there is any heat on the burner. So that's because my heat is on the lowest setting. And that's what you have to do. If not, you will destroy all the nutrients in the oils and the, the ginger and the hibiscus. Okay, guys. Let that cool off and then you bring it to strain on your on your butters like what i'm doing now so you want to strain it on your butters and then you just get a spoon and you press your your ginger and hibiscus to get all the excess oil off right off the pork So guys, let me use this opportunity to um, announce something. I'm going to be starting a hair growth challenge um, in the month of March. So I'm going to be doing it for about um, four to six months. So I just want to invite you guys, if you are interested, join me and let's do this. Join me, let me know on Instagram and I'm going to give you the details on how we're going to do it. And we're going to be... I want to be checking on you guys step by step every month until we get to six until we get to four months or six months if you choose to stop at four months all right guys but i'm going to go right up to um in between four or six i haven't really decided yet so if you're interested let me know on instagram and by the way if you've not started following me on instagram please guys go and follow and support your girl thank you so much for those who have I've already subscribed. Those who are already following me on Instagram, Instagram, thank you so much. So guys, now we're gonna you do the double boiler method to to melt your butter. So another way you can do that is just for you to melt your butter before you add in your oil, the other oil, the ginger and the hibiscus oil. But if not, then you just um do what I am doing right now, and then we're gonna cover it with a plastic film. And put it in the freezer but before you do that you want to add all your essential oils if you have them if you do not have them then you just skip this stage okay guys and do not bother about trying to check the oils that I'm putting in the, in the butter because I'm going to put everything down below in the description box so try to check the description box guys for all the ingredients I always always try to put all the ingredients that I use down in the description box so make sure you go check it out right guys so like I was saying about the challenge it's going to be made of only of ginger I'm going to be using only ginger ginger juice for this challenge guys if you want to join me please let me know on instagram and we're going to do a um, protective styling for about six months we're going to go in with protect about two or three protective stylings guys for you guys but for me i think i'm going i'm going to go with one one protective style i put my hair in one protective style and i'll keep it for four to six months so guys i'm also using this um hair serum from one of our youtubers lily Extel. if you like it i used it in order in my other videos and they're really and it's really good so if you want to try it i'll leave the link of it down below you go and check i think she sells on sc so go and check it there and you buy and she's giving 20 percent of of all her ingredients that are on the site so if you, you if you want to try it please check out the link down in the description box
so guys once you put your your butter in the freezer go back to your gel that has cooled off already so and start straining i already started straining this off camera because guys it's going to take you a lot of time to strain this stuff it's super difficult for you to pass through the strainer so it will take a lot of time okay guys so i started straining before i decided to show you guys how i did it so it's it going to require a lot of muscles for you to press and get the thing out of it so this is where your your hobby or your boyfriend is going to come in <laughs> all right guys so you need some muscles to press this thing real hard for the gel to come out okay guys but other than that you have to and other than that you it will take you a lot of time for it to completely come out the you the way you want it i actually did not even strain it all of it i i abandoned some in the in the strainer and then once your butter is ready do not make it to be too hard guys it will be too difficult for you to for you to wix so for you to whip very well right guys so don't make it too um hard in the freezer don't leave it for long i left mine my, my for about 20 to 30 minutes i think about 25 minutes and that is how it looked then now i am adding the gel so you want to add the gel bit by bit um checking the consistency that you want and then you whip again all right guys so guys this um butter will help to seal your moisture you can use it to seal your moisture you can also use it as your pre pull just take it again and put it um put it like that on your head directly if you if you like and then you cover your head with the plastic bag and then you go and wash your hair or you can melt it again in the microwave or do again a double boiler just take a little bit and put it in a bowl and do a double boiler method use it as your hot oil treatment it's still going to work perfect and again you can use it to seal your moisture which is what most of us do we use it to seal moisture in our hair right so it's going to add a lot of shine to your hair it's going to strengthen your hair and it's going to add moisture okay guys it will keep your hair moisturized for days for days up to four days guys i tell you so you want to beat your butter whip it real smooth and nice and then it'll be time for you to transfer it to your bottle for storage so once you put that in your bottle you want to keep it in the freeze in the fridge guys you know that there are no preservative in it so you want to keep it in the fridge so the bacteria will not grow okay guys so each time you take it out you use it on your hair you put it back in the fridge that's the reason why i used to advise you guys to make small portions at a time make small portions that will last you if you're using it by yourself just make a very small portion that can last you like two weeks and then you do another one all right guys so this container that i do is for the three of us and it will last us about three weeks and then i will make another one so don't do don't make um too much that you want to it will last you for about months in the fridge all right guys that will be that you will not be sure if it's going to if it's still going to be good for your hair all right guys that's why i advise you in order to be sure that you're using something good for your hair do not make too much make small portions at a time and put them in the fridge all right guys so that's how moisturizing it looks guys the mango butter in it oh my god it makes it so moisturizing for your hair so guys if you are you have low porosity and you've been investing on shea butter i advise you change immediately and start investing on mango butter you will love it sincerely so guys now i will show you how i use it so this is my hair very dry i had not moisturized it for about two days so that's how it looks very dry so now i'm gonna do uh, my moisturizing routine so guys i'm one person that does not disturb her hair i don't disturb my hair at all i'm not one of that person that today we want to do a bun the next day i want to do um uh twist out the next day i want to do any no guys i just put my hair in twist like this and i leave it okay guys you know you can actually style your twist anyhow you want it right so i style my twist and i go about my day i leave it like that for like 
one month, two months, I wash my hair like that and I come back and re-moisture, re-moisturize just as it is. And then I continue. So leave your hair alone, guys. That's the secret to hair growth. Just leave it alone. There is no need for you trying to grow your hair. And at the same time, you want to be doing all those crazy styles that you see on Instagram and on. Just leave the hair alone. Once in a while, if you have a very important occasion or somewhere very important that you have to go to, okay, do a manipulative style. Just tie your hair and you go. When you come back, put your hair in a very low manipulative and um, protective style and your hair will grow. Okay, guys, so just leave your hair alone. Let it breathe, please. So, guys, I applied my leave-in and then now I'm sealing with the butter. And then I will retwist my hair. So I do this process, uh, I think, about twice a week just to re-moisturize my hair. I do it about twice a week. Or if my hair gets dry, like if you expose your hair, especially in this winter, you just leave it open like that. Without your heart or without a wig, it gets dry faster. So you have to re-moisturize like every day or every other day. But if you do your hair in a protective style and then you still cover it when you're going out, like you have a wig on or you have a hat on, then I think you can go like, like up to four days without moisturizing your hair. So guys, that is how I use the butter. I apply my DIY leave-in and then I seal it. I seal the moisture with the butter. As I said, you can also use it for your, for your pre-pull. You can also use it for your people, okay, guys? And any other way that you think that is, is, is good for your hair, just use it. That's what we do. We listen to our hair before, when applying products. If your hair does not accept it, discontinue use. All right, guys? That is the video for you guys. That is all I had for you. That is all I had for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've enjoyed this video, guys, please do not leave without giving us a thumbs up. And if you watched it for the very first time, please subscribe um, so that you can join the family and you'll be able to watch other videos that I've made. I have tons and tons of um, hair growth DIYs on the channel that you can always choose from. You can always choose from to use to grow your hair. All right, guys. So this is it. The result of this is going to be super shiny hair, super moisturized hair. Your hair will feel so nice to the touch. It will be so moisturized like what you see in the video. My hair feels so moisturized and nourished and healthy. And above all, it's soft. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I pray that God will bless you. And keep watching my videos. And please subscribe, share the video to your friends. And I will see you in the next video, God willing. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. And guys, make good decisions. Bye.